Hi! In this series of video, we'll get an overview of Cuba platform and Cuba Studio using an example of a simple application for customers and orders management. Let's start with Studio interface. I assume that you have downloaded and successfully installed Cuba Studio on your PC. Start the Studio server by clicking Start. When the web server is started, the URL of Studio Web Interface will become available in the URL field. Open the web browser and proceed to the prompted URL. Accept the license agreement. The first step we see in Studio Web Interface is the settings tab. Here we can set the path to the installed Java and Gradle distributions. Leave this field empty, so the required Gradle distribution will be downloaded automatically. Apply the default settings and proceed to the Projects tab. Here you will see the list of your studio projects. Click Create New. Specify the name of a new project, for example, Sales. The following properties will be automatically generated in the fields below. Project Namespace is a namespace for domain entities and database tables. Leave the prompted name unchanged. Root package is the root package of Java classes. Click OK. An empty project will be created in the specified folder, and in a moment you will see the main screen of Studio. During the first use of the particular platform build, Studio will download all the sources and binary artifacts of the platform. In this case, opening the project and assembling the application may take some time. Before starting to work on a project, it is recommended to wait until the background task indicator goes out. The workspace of Studio is located in the center of the screen. The project name is displayed here. The main menu of Studio is on the left. The toolbar is located below. Section Navigation panel is located under the menu. Below is the Status panel. The Message panel is located to the right. The Help panel is opened by default at the first start of a new project. It can be switched on permanently if you need it. This panel displays context help, the list of keyboard shortcuts, and the description of the main menu items. Let's assemble the project. Select Build – Assemble Project in the main menu. At this stage, Studio will download all the required libraries and build project artifacts in the Build subfolders of the project folder. Now let's create a database on the local HSQL server. Select Run – Create Database in the Application menu. By default, the database name matches the name of the project namespace. Select Run – Deploy in the Application menu. The Tomcat server with the application will be deployed in the Deploy subfolder of the project. Select Run – Start Application Server. A few seconds later, the link next to the web client label will become clickable. Use it to switch to the application directly from Studio. The username and password are admin admin. They are filled in by default. The running out-of-the-box application contains two main menu items – Administration and Help, as well as the functionality for Security and Administration. In order to develop business logic, Cuba Studio provides tools for integration with Java IDE, Eclipse and IntelliJ IDEA. They enable to quickly switch from Studio to IDE and back. The preferred IDE can be selected in Project Properties. Now let's integrate Studio with IDE using the example of IntelliJ IDEA. Eclipse integration is performed in the same manner. So we open IntelliJ IDEA and install the Cuba Framework Integration plugin. The corresponding message appears in the Status panel. Select Build, Create or Update IDEA Project Files in the main menu. IDEA Project Files will be created in the working folder of the project. Now, when you click the IDE button in Studio, the corresponding files will be opened in the IntelliJ IDEA Editor.
In the next video, we'll get a closer look at Studio using the example of a simple Cuba-based application.